we are going to graph y equals x squared minus 4. Now, there are many, many, many ways to do this. The way that I'm going to show you right now is to start with y equals x squared, which is probably a shape that you are supposed to have memorized for your math class. There is a point at negative 2, comma 4, negative 1, comma 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. Whatever x value I'm choosing, in this case negative 2, I'm squaring it. Negative 2 squared is 4, that's why the dot is up here at 4. In fact, negative 3 squared is 9, so I'll put a dot at 9. And regular 3, or positive 3 squared, is also 9. What I've put here in pencil is y equals just x squared. But we were asked for x squared minus 4. That is the graph I just did, but shifted down four units. It's a vertical translation. So this point, which was nine high, goes down one, two, three, four points to here. And this point gets translated down four. And this one goes down four. And this one goes down four. Down four, down four, down four. These markered points are the new points on my actual graph of x squared minus 4. Now I want to point out a few things here. Number one, this it looks like it's in standard form because there's no brackets, but it's also technically in vertex form. This is y equals x minus 0 squared minus 4, but minusing 0 doesn't do anything, right? So why not just rewrite that as x squared? But from this form, you can read the vertex immediately as 0, comma, negative 4. That's what vertex form is for. And look, there's the vertex at 0, comma, negative 4. It opens up from there because the coefficient in front of x squared is positive. I also want to point out that this factors by difference of squares. It factors to x minus 2 and x plus 2, which tell me the x-intercepts are positive 2 and negative 2. And look, there's an x-intercept at 2, and there's an x-intercept at negative 2. All those points that I've pointed to here, the vertex and the x-intercepts, could have been plotted without you doing the translation that I did. But the translation also worked and gave you the same points. Hope that made sense. Your final answer for the graph of x squared minus 4 is what I have in purple here. Be very careful about what I've done. It's like 3 comma 5, 2 comma 0, etc, etc. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.